Um, thank you for joining this uh, community call. So can you see my screen, the entire screen, or I'm sharing? I think I'm doing it in the right way. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes. Uh, perfect. Okay, so um, one more community call is uh, targeting all those that are part of uh, open air infrastructure as um, a content provider. So providing content from your data sources, data sources that you manage, different kinds of repositories or uh, other kinds of um, systems that share uh, scientific information from journals, data repositories, etc. So thank you for joining. There are always newcomers, uh, sometimes no. Today it's a community call dedicated to the um, to the uses uh, statistics service and specifically for this uh, change that we we, we are implementing uh, related with the um, the counter uh, code of practice reports that we have in production in uh, in currently but we we are integrating with the, the new release uh, so. Um, we want to, to to highlight and discuss a bit with you. We have some doubts about the implementation process and we would like to have your opinion. So please, please, um, if some of you can be active today, contributing and providing feedback, this will be useful because we have this community call really to, to receive our feedback in order to decide what we want to do in terms of implementation. So we will tell you about this, about that. Dimitris Pierakos that is, is here with us, will be the, the main presenter and we'll highlight what we want to discuss. We have a kind of Mentimeter just to support the discussion at the end. So we would write, really like to have your feedback, even for those that um, are not using, uh, so, so you can be aware and then also provide your opinion. Uh, this is what we want to highlight. So this, these updates and a bit of knowledge. We, we have the feeling that the community of repository managers at least are not fully aware of uh, all the changes in with the, the, the reports from release four to release five. Uh, we want to implement it and provide because we are ready for that, but the community, we are not sure if it is ready. So let's, let's discuss, uh, discuss a bit this. Um, before I pass the word to Dimitris, uh, two or three highlights, uh, some of them I already presented in beta before, but um, be aware that we have uh, a new index update. Uh, as we told you, sometimes we are not complying completely with the monthly update, but uh, all the technical team from Open Air is doing really a, a, an effort to ensure that we have these monthly updates. The, depending on the, um, the integration of relevant data sources or big data sources or the, or the changes in, in, uh, in, in our infrastructure or um, slight uh, changes in the mo data model. Some, sometimes even the, the, all the work that we are doing to align um, with, some, uh, with the, the OSC, uh, uh, development so we need to do some changes and sometimes we need to postpone some updates um, sometimes we have issues uh, with relevant data sources and we need to postpone the update but at, at least uh, if andre can correct me at least i think the last two uh, uh, they went like really uh, monthly <laughs> yes yes yeah thank you andre um, which is good and which is uh, which we would like to thank to all the, the technical team and particularly Persons in charge of the of the aggregation, in charge of the of the of the of managing the graph, the open air graph. Two relevant updates we deployed in production a new version. In fact, um, we did it um, live. It was critical because now we are integrating in beta some changes to align with developments that we are doing uh, in EOSC future project, um, and we it's, it's it's more difficult for us to manage. Uh, deployments to test it in bet and then put it in production so we are doing it in some critical way so we receive from two or three repository managers some um, uh, requests or some feedback saying that the service in one of the mornings were not able at least uh, sometime during two mornings in the last two weeks uh, we were deploying in production the the service so maybe the service was um, uh, and unavailable uh, for some some time, not too much. So, uh, but we we did these updates, two relevant updates. The terms of use, 
So we have it in uh, in in production. Okay. Um, you are not seeing my screen, true? Just the PowerPoint. <laughs> Only the PowerPoint. Yes. Okay. Uh, is why I don't like to let me change this to make it more easy to me. Okay. Life changes, which is always interesting. Okay, now I think you can see. <laughs> yes. Can you see? Yes. So uh, terms of use, uh, for some of you, if you join the open air, if you access the open air provide uh, now, and you, you didn't, uh, and it will be the first time after the 24th of May, you will see a pop-up window in front of your, in front of you in the screen to update the terms of use. Um, uh, maybe you, you have done that. So the, the, the terms of use can be also updated anytime in the, okay, where I am. In the, um, Okay, always a surprise. Dashboard. This morning was working well. Uh, I have so tested. <laughs> I think it was because I, I, I have this open since a while. Let me check. So you will see um, important. Uh, let, let me let me highlight. So terms of use. Um, what is important is to um, say that. We didn't change nothing in our policy, okay? And this is always important. I know that some of you already know, already heard from me this, uh, this um, explanation. So we didn't change nothing in our policy. It's just a question of update and they have all the providers um, at the same uh, page and having the uh, possibility to update the terms of use in terms of providing metadata, in terms of providing full text. As we did, updates over the last years uh, to our policies and we we have done um, changes in the um, in the uh, with different uh, registration process so we started with registering uh, stuff in 2012 then we did changes in our policy in 2014 we have the last update was since 2018 so uh, we we have this uh, these changes and it's important to ensure that everything is is, is working um and the uh, provide is not working but i'm not sure if it is my my fault or if it is um uh, I'm trying right. also, and uh, I also have uh, the same uh, issue. Okay, so let's let's proceed. We have slides. We can uh, we can proceed. So you will see if it at the end the uh, things are working. I will present it. So uh, access the terms of use, and you can see uh, that this uh, this update. So this will have an up, a pop up window if it is the first time. At any time in the update tab, you can update the terms of use, and this will work. I know that several uh, we know that several repository managers already did over the last uh, two weeks, so we can um, we can do it uh, without any any problem. Uh, Chris system registration is also working. Uh, I know that uh, some few have already checked and did the the Chris registration. I know a colleague. A colleague from Portugal, in fact, did it last last week live. Uh, so this was something that we really wanted. Uh, Chris systems are are part of Open Air, and now we can say that uh, the workflow is fully integrated. So we have uh, guidelines, we have validator, and we have a registration process. Finally, and Chris systems will be made available. Um, uh, and information in explore in the list of providers uh, so we can fit them in the be guided by this registration workflow and the content will be made available in the open air research graph and to, for the benefit of, of all the, the types of services also this is in production since may tw um, 24th we we had some issues uh, just after this update for uh, four or five days with the um, monitor history but everything was was solved 
so uh, public roadmap uh, is always available for you to, to, to provide feedback if you want. We, we try to update it every month with the, the new feature. In fact, we need to update uh, all the changes that we did uh, by the end of, 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 of May. Um, let me do another try. Uh, I don't have problems to test this live because if it doesn't, that doesn't work, this means that this will work at some time. So unfortunately, something happens. Sometimes it's not related with the provide services, related with the authentication. And authentication, as you know, is always a, a type of service that sometimes we cannot fully control. Another try. If this doesn't work, then I pass the floor to Dimitris. Um, and we will try to, to do it at, at, at the end. OK, so please don't do it right now, the updates, etc. cetera. Um, we will try to figure out. So two important updates, OK? Terms of use are, are really critical for us in terms of having all people in the same page, updates, have an aut authority to download your PDFs, test mine your PDFs. I insist, as you know, we don't provide direct access to PDFs. We always point to the original data source. There are other aggregators like OpenAir that do uh, the opposite. They direct the, um, to, di they download the PDFs and they direct to the PDFs in their infrastructure, which is a practice that OpenAir don't do. And we, in fact, don't like. And we know that the providers that also don't like this kind of, of approach and open air doesn't do that. So we need your uh, acceptance of the terms of use in order to update uh, and also to download the PDFs to provide added value services. Dimitris, let's now present this user statistics updates. I, let's see if at least those people that are here involved and I see some, I recognize some names that people that are user statistics um, uh, service beneficiaries. Uh, let's see if we can have the feedback and if we can have provide them. And pioneers, if I might say. Yes, pioneers. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's see, let's see if, uh, if we can have some discussions around. So, yeah. and then and, and think together about the changes that we want to, to do. Okay, thank, thank you, Pedro. Um, let me share my screen. Yes, yes. Can, can you see my screen? Perfect, perfect. Yes, thank you. OK. So um, uh, welcome to this uh, community call. Thanks, Pedro, for the introduction. Um, I will try to provide in this uh, uh, presentation uh, uh, a brief introduction to uh, counter code of practice uh, uh, in general. And um, what uh, we have to do, what are the actions and the, uh, and the steps that we have to do in order to migrate, if the community decides to migrate, from uh, release 4 to uh, release uh, 5. Um, first of all, I would like to give a quick introduction and, and recap of uh, the usage counts on the usage count service. Uh, the usage count service is the usage statistics service uh, of the open air uh, research graph. Uh, it, what it does, it, uh, it tracks and uh, counts the usage events of uh, research products of the open air graph. And when we say research products, we mean articles, uh, data sets, books, etc. And this is realized using um, two uh, uh, approaches. One is the tracking of uh, usage with specialized uh, uh, server side software like uh, patches for platforms uh, for like this for platforms like the space or plugins uh, for platform like eprints uh, or a generic uh, uh, tracking tool with which is uh, applied in uh, web server logs uh, we call this approach uh, push since we are retrieving uh, usage events directly from content providers and the second approach is uh, by collecting uh, counter uh, reports 
from aggregators uh, like uh, Iris uh, UK, for instance. Uh, we call this approach pool, and uh, currently we support uh, a release four and release five uh, um, code of practice reports. So, uh, for instance, for, for, from Iris UK, we are retrieving uh, release five reports only now uh, because they have stopped uh, publishing counter code of practice release four reports since uh, January 2022. Um, all tracking is performed uh, by respecting users' privacy, and this is why you, we use anonymization of uh, IP addresses. Uh, we are also exploiting um, uh, what is called the deduplication functionality on metadata, which is offered by Open Research Graph, that enables uh, uh, accumul the accumulation of usage for the same uh, research uh, output, the same research products. So in this way, we could have aggregated user statistics for the same research product and from multiple resources. Uh, in other words, uh, multiple repositories. The service is also counter code of practice compliant, and, and, which is the topic of this of the today's presentation. Uh, and what it means is that uh, the service provides standard based uh, user statistics. Finally, uh, the user statistic produced by the service could be considered a form of indicator uh, that complement other traditional and alternative biometric indicators to, and pro, uh, to provide a comprehensive and most importantly, a recent view of, uh, of the impact of academic resources. Uh, that, this is uh, what we think, what we consider is, is one of the main features of, uh, of our service. Um, so most of you, uh, you are aware of the service, you have uh, uh, deployed it, so if, if you don't, please uh, join and activate the service. We, we are here to help you. It's a, a very uh, straightforward uh, process. Um, so now let's discuss how, uh, the main topic of this presentation, which is the counter code of practice. Um, this is the timeline in the, uh, of the development of the code of practice. Uh, as you can imagine, before counter, there is no common standard for user statistics, meaning that uh, user statistics are not consistent uh, and are not, com uh, and most importantly, uh, they are not uh, comparable, they are not standard. The first release of the counter was back in, two th in 2003 and has been implemented to support uh, uh, journals and f some form of databases. And the metrics that were used uh, to count usage events were, are the well-known metadata views and uh, full text uh, downloads. Since then, there are four more releases, with uh, which the most important so far was the release four that include the 24 reports and, um, and covered a variety of research products like uh, multimedia and books. But on 2019, a new release of the COVID practice appeared. Uh, it changed the way usage events uh, are counted by introducing new concepts, new metrics, uh, new form of reports, uh, filters for the reports, etc. So this is, a, 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 it, my opinion, is considered a major, a huge upgrade of the counter uh, code of practice um, uh, releases. So uh, counter code of practice releases the current status of the open air usage count service compatibility. Uh, I will focus on the implementation deployment of the service in the provider's dashboard, since this is, the, let's say, the domain of this community call series. So we have implemented the release four, and we support the well-known metadata views and downloads of the counter code of practice uh, using vis visualizations, as you can see in the slide, like monthly views or monthly, uh, or monthly downloads. Um, we have also implemented five uh, uh, release four reports in order to be able to view and retrieve the user statistics for, uh, for repositories. Uh, we have implemented the article report, which represents a number of successful article downloads requests by month in the repository. The item report, a uh, number of successful item downloads requests by month and repository. The, rep the number of successful item downloads for all repositories participating in the user statistics service. And we have also implemented since they have been requested to uh, book reports, the number of successful title requests and the number of successful sectional requests. Uh, these are all uh, adhered to the counter release for um, code of practice. And for each report, you could apply filters that allow you to select the period of the report, uh, the research product, uh, which can be identified by, uh, the, by its identifier, which could be uh, the open air identifier, the DOI, or uh, OAIPMH identifier. 
And you could also select the granularity of the report, uh, which is could be either which could be either monthly um, uh, user statistics or the total statistics for the selected period. So in terms of filters, we have only four options: the, the period, the item identifier, and the uh, the report, uh, the, the granularity of uh, of the report. Um, this is a tabular form of this particular report, which is article report results, uh, where you could see the information like the title of the item, the publisher, the type of the research products, uh, and of course the user statistics uh, for this uh, particular uh, uh, period with metrics, uh, downloads, and, uh, and events. So this is the current status that we are offering right now that we have implemented, it's, it is available in uh, providers uh, dashboard. Now let's discuss the upcoming uh, updates, um, it, which is the implementation of the counter code of practice uh, release five, the, 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 last, the latest release. As mentioned in the previous slide, the new release somehow changes completely the way that usage events are collected, counted and published. So I will try to explain what are the new metrics and the reports for, uh, and what are the reports for this release? I will, I will try to provide some examples and the comparison between the release four, which is currently offered and provide and the upcoming uh, release five. I will try to discuss the new concepts that are introduced, like the data types, uh, the access method, the access type, and the year of publication, which this new concept could be used as filters for the new uh, version of the reports, the release five. So first of all, metric types. We have to forget the traditional, if we are using, of course, the counter code of practice five, we have to forget the traditional views and downloads metrics and move to the new metrics. Uh, for, for release five, investigation and request. So an investigation is, is tracked when a user performs any action in relation to a content item or a title. So for example, if a, 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 a user visits a content provider and uh, views an abstract, views an HTML in full text, views a PDF, downloads a PDF, or views a preview of an article, these are all, these are all counted, tracked as investigations. On the other hand, a request is specifically, is specifically related to the viewing or downloading the full uh, content item. Uh, so we are forgetting, again, uh, we are forgetting views and downloads and we are using investigations to, to uh, count every action, any action in, uh, which is related to uh, uh, a content item of the, of the um, of the content provider of the research product and request in order to uh, um, represent the to count the uh, the action the view the download the full text download uh, of uh, of an item so a full text download is an is an investigation and a request at the same time so uh, new metrics are also using the suffix unique and total to further categorize the uh, metric types. So we have the unique item investigations, which count unique article investigations and the request inside the user session. Uh, the total item investigation counts total number of times information related to an article uh, viewed, including all, including all article full content views. The total item requests, which count all article full content views across all formats, like for example, HTML and PDF, which is the equivalent to old release for uh, metric type, uh, which is uh, the, uh, defined as count, as downloads. Um, and finally, unique item request, which counts unique article full content views uh, within a given session, regardless, regardless of format. So for example, if a user views an article PDF and HTML in the same session, this would only count uh, as one. I will provide a concrete example with the next uh, slide. So we assume that uh, Susan is researching the history of Porto in, inside the Umino repository and uh, perform the search, uh, receive a, a list of search results and she decides to open uh, three article abstracts. The counts are three total item investigations and unique item and three unique item invest, investigations so far. After reading the abstracts, Susan uh, decides to download the PDF, the PDF for two of the of the articles. So the counts change to five for total item investigation, three as old views plus two as uh, old downloads, three unique views, in, three unique item uh, uh, investigations 
which corresponds to the three old unique views, and two total item requests and two uh, uh, unique uh, item uh, requests. So this is this is the change between the the old and the and the new versions of uh, of the metrics. If we want to compare release four and release five metrics, we could note that downloads and total item requests are the same as you could see in the in the in the, in the graph. We have collected uh, both. Uh, uh, we have collected the usage events and we represent them using uh, both uh, counter code of practice releases in release four and release five for since 2020, the January 2022, since uh, April uh, 2022. And you can see that uh, downloads and item requests are almost uh, the same. On the other side, views and total item investig investigation are completely different metrics. So, uh, uh, as we mentioned, uh, an investigation is is uh, any action that is performed inside a, a content provider. It's totally different than, than the old uh, metric, uh, the view. So, uh, just to recap, the, uh, the code of practice release five metric time features total item requests. There are considered important from providers that have full text content, of course. Um, reports the number of full text downloads or views. The total item investigations provide a big picture uh, perspective of the total number of investigations. While the unique investigation requests are considered powerful metrics for identifying activities uh, within uh, with unique items and titles, and uh, they are considered from content providers. This is why probably they have. Uh, proposed and developed this uh, metric, they consider it most accurate for calculating cost per use, uh, since they are operating inside the unique, uh, inside the, uh, the, uh, the session, not on, on the whole um, uh, activity. So having discussed the new, the new metric, let's move on to other concepts, which are introduced in release five. Uh, for example, data type is pretty self, is a, is a new concept, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, um, data type identifies the general type of content which is being asked uh, or for which usage is being reported. And of course, it is it corresponds to articles, uh, books, uh, book segments, uh, collections, databases, uh, data set, journals. This is, these are all considered uh, data types. Access type, it's a new uh, uh, concept introduced in release five. It describes the nature of access control that was in place where the content item was accessed. So it's controlled, it's open access delayed, open access gold APC, et cetera. Uh, this, attribute has been, uh, this attribute appears in um, uh, a specific type of report, the general type report one, and allows users of open access content uh, to be separated from content that uh, requires uh, a light, specific uh, license. Another, another uh, new concept is, uh, is the access met method, which is a concept that, that indicates whether the usage related to investigation and requires corresponds to a human browsing, uh, the content provider, the repository, for instance, or a, a, a kind of um, a robot, uh, let's say, um, uh, is, uh, is trying to accessing the site uh, generating a, a number of um, of, of events. Uh, this is performed, for example, this is done, for example, by using uh, text and data mining uh, software. Uh, this is what uh, this is uh, what is called. This access method is called uh, TDM. So we have the regular TDM. The, so excuse me, the regular uh, access method and the TDM access method that corresponds to kind of um, uh, of crawling the website uh, for, um, uh, uh, for for retrieving uh, usage uh, for retrieving uh, content and uh, finally the uh, r5 uh, also in introduces the uh, concept of the year of publication which is the year of publication for the content item accessed if content is available in print and online format and the publication dates of these two formats differ um, code of practice proposes to, to use the year of publication of the print uh, version of the article. This is, uh, this, all these concepts are, are, are new and uh, of, of course require further uh, examination and uh, not the short introduction that we are trying to do 
uh, right now. But uh, just um, uh, uh, to, to, to just a short presentation to have an idea of the, of the new uh, uh, release. So in terms of reports, um, counter code of practice release five uh, offers pro, uh, a reduced number of reports. It offers, it provides four master reports and uh, 16 in total ver versus 24 in release four. Many of the special purpose reports that are seldomly used are replaced with a small number of flex generic reports in release five. All counter release four reports have either been renamed or, el or eliminated in favor of other counter uh, release five uh, report options. And the most important part is that there are a, a, a number of new filters that could be applied and, um, uh, and uh, uh, reduce the, uh, the, the, the results or uh, uh, provide more specific results uh, for the reports. For example, you can use dates, content uh, or data types, metric types, uh, year of publication, license types, uh, as uh, already discussed. And you can also combine these um, filters to uh, retrieve more specific uh, results. This is the list of the, uh, of the available uh, uh, counter release five reports. Uh, we have the master reports and the more standard uh, reports. Uh, I would not delve into details for these, uh, uh, um, for all these reports. Just to mention that uh, in our release implementation of the release five reports, we have developed um, two master reports, the PR and IR, uh, the platform master report and IR, uh, I, platform master item report, which the report summarizing users activity, the PR is a report summarizing users activity for the repository by month metric type and item type. And the IR is the old IR1 report, which is a report for items requested by month, metric type, item type, and the repository. We consider this, these are the most um, uh, useful reports to, to, uh, to provide. And we also have a, uh, developed the platform usage report, which is a report summarizing users activity for the repository uh, by month and broken down by, uh, by metric type. Um, in addition, we have also added a data set report, which is not included officially in the counter release five um, uh, code of practice set of reports. However, it has been introduced by Make Data Count Initiative for, using, for reporting user statistics for data sets explicitly. So the report also use, uses the new metrics that have been introduced uh, in uh, the release five. I, uh, investigations and requests. So that's why we, we have developed this and we are offering, uh, uh, we are offering this report uh, as well. The, three, uh, the main three reports that we have developed is the, uh, the reports that are currently offered uh, publicly from uh, uh, IROS UK. So we have decided to, to follow the same path. Uh, however, we are open and uh, we, are, uh, we could develop any other kind of uh, report that you might be uh, interested. So this is how the new interface of the provider's dashboard with the new uh, uh, release five reports could be uh, 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 displayed. So we have the platform master report with a short description, the platform usage, the item master report, and the data sets uh, report. Um, for, the, for selecting the report, you could see um, the filters that you can uh, uh, apply, for example, you can have the date range, the item identifier, again, open air DOI or ID identifiers could be used. And for uh, a particular report, the platform math, uh, master report, you can, uh, se uh, you can select uh, the metric type that you, uh, that you want to, uh, to apply, uh, either all of them or a combination of them or a single of them. This is a a main difference between this, uh, um, this release and the previous release where you can only have a, a minimum set of uh, filters that would be applied. So this is an example of a, um, of a platform uh, report, uh, of a, a plat platform master report. Uh, you can have a platform, uh, for example, you have the University of uh, the Repository of Mino and the data type is article and the access method is regular and the met total item investigation is the metric type and for we are uh, sele we have selected the total uh, period as a granularity and uh, you can see the uh, the numbers uh, here for this particular uh, uh, repository this corresponds to the platform for a, a certain period of time 
Finally, uh, just to indicate the number of attributes that are available for the master reports uh, for repos and items, and with a, a yellow uh, color, we have indicated what we have uh, implemented. Uh, we consider these are the most uh, uh, important and uh, somehow mandatory, uh, but all other uh, um, uh, attributes could also be uh, in, included in the, if, if of course the metadata information is, uh, is available. So this is more or less the, the, the presentation of the counter code of practice and how we could migrate from release four and to release five. Uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, I'm glad to ask to, to reply. Thank you. Really great presentation, Dimitri. Thank you very much. So really comprehensive and quite uh, clear this is what uh, we need for this uh, for this moment i think it was very good uh, for sure there are things that people need to understand uh, better of course there are always the support information from counter code of practice that is being developed and also also uh, not for the purpose of only for the purpose of repositories statistics also for, for other things that you will know from from the scientific journals etc um so uh, any question um, um any question to dimitri is can we maybe can we um, um move maybe to the to the if you don't have any question i think it was it was I, quite I can see one in this yes we have a question so, from Elidic. yeah NAS uh, has 38 repositories in the Netherlands being harvested by OpenAI. Can the metrics also be made for NASIS? Um, for the repository uh, in NASIS. Uh, I assume that you are an aggregator, right? Yes, yes. this is the yes. old idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, old yes, <laughs> okay. Every yeah. time we have a presentation, I ask this. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can you please contact me because uh, we can, yes, of course we can, uh, uh, you can join in the user account service and we can uh, retrieve uh, your such events from you. Okay, yeah. I will contact you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if Ellie asks something, I also yes. have to say, yes, say ahead, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I will share my screen just to show because it is quite easily to, uh, to show. So this is one of our repository Veterinar is the name of the repository. So in this in this window, this is uh, how it is um, displayed in the open air explore. explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the um, right side, this is how I see it in my provider dashboard, which yeah. means that uh, I understand these numbers, they are collected by the open air statistics. Yes. But it could not be seen here and yes. uh, yeah and the institutions usually use this one yes exactly. yes okay yes, yes I, I know i okay. as you mentioned the the usage events have been collected they, they are displayed properly in the dashboard they yeah, have been yeah. they, in the open uh, sorry in providers dashboard yes. they have been collected uh, until 2022, April 2022, and now we are collecting for, for May. But uh, the, we have a problem with, uh, with our statistics tool that displays the graphs. Uh, and these, these graphs are, are not updated. So if you check, for instance, uh, in this uh, in Explore uh, UMINO uh, repository, you will see that no, there are I only... Also I yeah. also have, this is one, my second repository. Yeah, I know yeah, yeah, I, I, know, I, know, I know. Yeah, yeah, and they have quite nice statistics. So yeah. maybe only this one is something. Yeah, yeah. if you check, can you go back to days? Okay, yeah. Can, can you click on the, on the icon? What is the last time that you, it, you see it's, it's- uh, uh, 21. Yeah. Yeah, we have, yes, okay. th this is the problem we have. Uh, we can uh, for now there is a problem with the uh, stats tool uh, and the graphs are not updated. So okay. uh, um, I think by the end of of this week, uh, the, uh, the stats tool will be the, the issue with the stats tool will be solved with all the okay. 
uh, graphs will be updated. But the, the, don't worry, the statistics are properly collected. Okay, okay. So, yes. but uh, Dimitris, uh, are you the right person to contact if, if this is not happening are, in the next Yes, we are, we are the right person to contact. Uh, me and Dimitris are the yes. right good, person good, good. to contact to push to solve the issue are yeah, not the yeah, right yeah. persons to solve the problems of the world but, but, but almost <laughs> yeah okay so yeah, yeah, yeah. another problem so, <laughs> sorry sorry thank you thank you for Joking. your explanation yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 no i understand no no but 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 we are we are on track this was discussed in the last um in the last uh, provide meeting so as you know, you are we are transparent. What is important always to highlight, and uh, I think uh -huh. the other things are working well. What is important to highlight is what Dimitri said. So, the good, collection good, good. of the numbers and the processing of the numbers are working fine. Everything is working fine in the in the back end. Okay, it's good, this good, really, good. And this uh, is the most important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, good. I don't know how to stop share. And I think uh, it, uh, but, so what uh, you are uh, sh showing here is also important that, that we to highlight that uh, Dimitris is also working uh, in the in the OSC future in order to have also the statistics integrated good. in, uh, in the, the ecosystem of OSC. So this is uh, mm -hmm. it is also important to uh, to highlight. So mm -hmm. uh, let me share the menti that we have so we don't have too much time but uh, i will invite you just to have some feedback from you and then if you want to turn on your microphone we have um, 11 minutes just to to receive some feedback from you i, I think it's working well i hope um, if you go to menti this is really uh, just to to collect some feedback but the most important thing is just to have uh, your feedback for those that are in fact uh, using uh, and um, i see some portuguese colleagues spanish colleagues feel free to to talk uh, in your own language if you don't feel comfortable to talk in in, in english uh, i will try to translate uh, 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 the others i cannot say the same <laughs> for other languages um so are you using counter reports in open air provide are they helpful or not so we are mixing here two questions but it's just to 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 have your feedback and to, for you to check so even if you are not uh, using them some people have enabled the user statistics service just just to have the overall numbers we know that but we know that there are people that are in fact using in a monthly basis the reports from uh, from counter four that we have available uh, so in fact you can you can provide two two answers okay if you if you want Okay, sorry for those that have already replied. If you want to, 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 to do any comment about this, the way that you use, um, feel, feel, feel free, okay? So user statistics is um, a service that you can benefit from, uh, from overall uh, numbers, graphs, as you saw with the demo, with the real demo from Brianna, uh, the numbers that we are collecting are exposed also in the public uh, um, web pages of the of the of the providers. Uh, this is integrated in other components in the in the landing page of a publication, uh, etc. Uh, but we have also this added value service that you can use to get uh, reports uh, from from the, the reports that. Uh, currently are available for counter four really is okay 15 15 answer is already good so yes uh, we are using uh, so some people are not aware there are some people that are using uh, so well, thank you very much so let's 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 move to the other questions and feel free to um, to um, to comment or, or, to, or to ask questions like uh, like Ellie and Brianna already did. 
uh, you saw the explanation the, from Dimitris. I think I uh, I found it quite um, clear, comprehensive, uh, really useful for the community. This 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 important differences between. Uh, um investigations so the numbers where we collect the difference this the exercise that dimitris did and i and thank you for that dimitris of comparing numbers just to make this clear uh, i think it was quite useful uh, dimitris already used the use case of susan um it's not my wife my wife name is susan and really? we live and we live in porto <laughs> but but susan don't do research on history of porto <laughs> we just i didn't porto. know it's a, it's a, it's a portuguese <laughs> name actually <laughs> susana yes ah, not okay. susan susana okay just to make some fun to take some fun for this community call Okay, our counter uh, code of practice release five new metrics useful. What 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 is your first reaction? Do you have any comment to this? Um, okay, I think there are some people that need to learn more, and I and I think this is natural. Um, yes, it seems so. Um, I, I put yes in the initially. In fact, uh, Andre prepared the. the the Mendy saying yes, and then I, I added, yes, it seems so. So just <laughs> because there are some people that for sure know that yes, but there are others that too. they have the feeling that, okay, 16 replies, many things. Uh, so Dimitris, feel free also to, to comment and to add something. Uh, I think what is important now, if you want to comment these two, these two um, uh, replies, um, feel free what is important is that that this question that we have and for those that are already using the service please provide your feedback even if it is just one or two persons to say if you have a strong opinion just share with us because we are um, we are um, thinking about this so would you like to maintain uh, both reports this is the most interesting uh yes question. so feel free to so for those that are using and in mm -hmm. fact that you see the diagrams that you check the reports please give your opinion because um just let, mention, let, let, let's have some more let's have some more answers and then i yeah. can say what was my opinion yeah. just, <laughs> and then, just to, i don't see. know if i will put some bias but the uh, irish uk has stopped uh uh issuing uh at least four reports yes 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 so they have completely uh, uh, migrated uh, to the new version, to the release file. <clears throat> so if you won't, don't have a strong opinion because if you don't use it in the in the daily basis as you reply to the to the first question, feel free. I I, I understand that at least those uh, it was nine ten persons that are in fact using it. So um, in a, in a, if I can have one more reply or two. I think it's useful. If if no, I understand because there are people that don't use in fact in a in a in a in a daily in a monthly or daily or periodic basis. But um, so you you cannot have a, a concrete opinion. Uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, Dimitris. This is useful. No, yes, it is. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I must confess that the first uh, opinion, then uh, Dimitris can comment, uh, that we wanted to, like, the, when we put in production, we discard the counter four and we just keep counter five. Um, yes. Then I was thinking about, after I heard Anna, Anna, Anna Poveda is here, in fact, after I heard the recordings from a, a session in, in Spain, from the anniversary of, of the aggregator, the aggregator in Spain, I heard your, your presentation, Anna. Anna is here. And I start thinking, and then I share with Dimitris, in fact, uh, that... Um, when I was listening to you and the way that you use and check, uh, I, I was thinking about uh, not doing what we decided, so the, to discard four and start only using five. Uh, five. Uh, and I must say that now I have a strong opinion to keep four until the end of the year uh, and have both until the end of the year. And during this period, uh, try to take a decision if we should keep four or not for 2023. Uh, but let's let's discuss. Let's have the the last question, Dimitris. Feel free to comment. So, I gave my opinion. You 
feel free to give yours. <laughs> I see. I, we are community driven, so the community decides. I mean. ah, this yeah. is a great, a great sentence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's the truth. <laughs> are more detailed reports, like yeah. not master reports, uh, useful? Uh, for example, maybe maybe we can put again the slide. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to uh, to present all the reports, but uh, I, I I I agree with the uh, people that I reply that they need to learn more about this. Yes, <laughs> uh, they can contact me and ask me for more information. But uh, for sure, there are very interesting reports that uh, might be of, of their interest. I mean, for the community, especially for journals and and repositories. Yes, maybe we can we can um, for sure we need to go document better. About about this but maybe mm. we can also allocate five minutes in the coming call to just to detail some more reports but uh, but but the, the one of the last slides from um, from Dimitris uh, was in fact uh, about that so um, where do you have it Dimitris uh, I think it's 14 yeah that, that one is this one yes um, of course, we all need to, to, to know a little bit better about this, yeah. but um, especially the ones that with um, uh, license types okay, or, or uh, gold, etc. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I think they, they will be, uh, of, be of interest. Yes. Okay, 13 uh, or so. There are one uh, strong opinion, so which is good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so it, 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 it is already useful for us. Uh, let me just, uh, in this last minute of the call, just recap, and Dimitris, if you want to have any feedback. So uh, so people are using, there are not so some people that are not aware. So uh, in the, if you access, uh, provide, and if you have a data source in open air that you manage, the last tab of, of provide is the one related with user statistics. If you click there, you will see the instructions how to enable. You just need to click and you receive a tracker code and some instructions. Then you can uh, contact us. And in fact, we will know, uh, Dimitris in fact will know about your interest and we will follow up, okay? And in fact, uh, sometimes when we have people that um, don't do nothing, we try to contact them and check uh, what is the status. I, I, we understand that some people that enable are dependent on um, IT staff from the institution or even a company that provide the support and the maintenance of the repository, but we can, uh, we can, we can provide support. And then we, we, we need to follow, to follow up on this, okay. Um, are counter for new metrics useful? So there, there is a feeling that yes, and people need to understand better about this. And there are some newcomers, and this is why we wanted to highlight because we have the feeling that this this release five is not um, so well known by the community. So it's critical that we have a, 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 a knowledgeable community in order to take important decisions. Statistics, we all know that are critical uh, for institutions that are critical for repositories. Um, and I think we have a robust service in open air in terms of that, in terms of backend. We need to make it more and um, more responsive uh, to the end users. This is an issue. I We know uh, Dimitris and myself and others, Andre, we are always trying to push um, our colleagues in order to to make it more robust in terms of our uh, being more responsive and, and visible to the community but uh, okay thank you for your answers and okay dimitris we have here um, a clear a clear reply on the previous one about that the maintenance of both so at least yes. in 2022 mm -hmm. and also that we need to provide more information about this this is important for upcoming calls and and also for a public webinar so we will do also a public webinar about the user statistics, not only to talk with the, those that are already part of open air, but to open for, for others to, 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 to join. Yeah, I think it will be by the mid of July and we will present uh, the whole service there, not just the, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what we have, what we are providing, but also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Okay, just an invitation just to, we are closing and then you can also say something more. So just an invitation for about the, the other calls. In fact, we, we usually, we don't have the call of July and I suppose we will be back on, on, um, on September. Uh, but we have the, um, we have the, the public webinar. Uh, do we have already a date that we don't have it here? Do we have uh, a you mean for the for the users counts for the users counts webinar? I think it's the 12, 12 of uh, of July. Let me check. Okay, let's put it here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 12th of July um, public it's... webinar uh, about the the users stats yeah. service. Okay, P put in your agenda. We will we will disseminate it. I think. Uh, Um, yeah. In fact, this was decided yesterday or the day before. Yeah, yesterday. Um, <laughs> yes, yesterday. Okay. So be aware of that. We will disseminate it. But if you want to disseminate in your country or to share with other colleagues, so feel free to do it. This is for those that are not aware of this service. Some of you are not fully aware. So you please attend to this, to this webinar where Dimitris will provide uh, more detailed information. Um, so... Uh, Thank you very much. I think, uh, Dimitri, do you want to make any comments? No, so we have. No, thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, if you have not activated the service, please do. Um, it's uh, it's very easy. We could uh, help you. We we are offering um, the tools uh, for uh, uh, for platforms like the Space and the uh, Prints, and we are also offering the generic uh, tool that could be applied to any kind of uh, platform using the. Uh, 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 web server logs so i think it will be easy to configure to set it up and configure it and we are here to help you yes and uh, i think it's a very interesting service but <laughs> yes I, th i think it's important to say that it's a robust service in terms of yeah. that uh, it's uh, so and and what we need to to see it's to go out from our yeah. island from our from our uh, silo and to understand that uh, Having open air, a service like open air, collecting user stats data from different providers, acting as a hub is quite important for the, the robustness of open science services like repositories, okay, for the future to place the, the, the repositories and the services that we provide in, in the ecosystems, national, ecosy national scientific ecosystems, European. So this is important. So as open air acting as a hub this will be relevant to provide service for national to provide service for EOSC, to interact with other platforms we are already interacting with la referencia for latin america so this is the added value that we need to understand of course we can benefit individually to have to get the reports for our own repositories and to have cleaned statistic but we can also benefit to integrate our stats in our in other services so this is what, what i think it's really important so yeah. a correction a correction on the date yeah so Th thanks andre don't put in your calendar the 12th of july put in your calendar the 13th of july mm -hmm. at uh, half past 10 central european time so recordings will be made available of this great presentation and the PowerPoint is already shared in the, the, the notes. Uh, so thank you very much. I hope that we, uh, so checking the questions, no more questions. So bye-bye all. Thank you very Rihanna, much. Thank you. Emilia, Emilia.